grew up in the Carolinas. Yes. yes. Singing in church. Singing in church. Yes. Is, is there a song that y'all like? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying. Y'all like? No, how about when y'all like? Your favorite, your favorite. Yeah. That's oh, you singing with me? Yeah. yeah. I try to follow it. Wait, look, I gotta find my key. <coughs> as soon as I stopped worrying, worrying <laughs> how the story is, oh, 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 I let go and I let God. Yes. Let God have His way. That's when things start happening. Yes. I stopped looking at back then. I let go and I let God let God have His way. Oh wait, y'all can't, y'all can't do this, Jonas. Love you, girl. Remember when you said, "Don't make me cry." <laughs> <laughs> We you. Oh, God. Yo, I love it so much. I love it so much. I love the soulfulness in Danielle's voice. And it just reminds me like when I watched her do or play Mahalia and I think it was the Lifetime movie and she killed that. But it's like, I kind of saw that too, like the face she made too. But even like that paired with Tasia's like light. Oh, the thread of the harmony. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. That's when things don't happen. Like, I love Tasia so much for that. Like, the realness of that. Like, if, if you're singing with somebody and they do something like that, it's just like, I love how she hit her lightly on the leg and kept singing. Like, that's so good, you guys. As soon as I let go and I let God. And we're not even talking about, like, Danielle's really doing a lot of nuances on that bottom. Huh? She's doing a, a lot of nuances. You might not hear because you might be listening to Tasia. But Danielle was really moving. She was really moving at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like sometimes we get, well, I don't even feel like we do. I think it's just a true statement that you really have to listen to something multiple times because, like, when there's multiple singers or something, it kind of reminds me of the Clark sisters too. You might get distracted listening to Karen. Kill it. You know what I'm saying? And you're not listening to what Twinkie is doing on the bottom. And it's just like, oh, you know, because it's creating some interesting um dynamic features and, and and bells and whistles and stuff for the it's just ear candy that's happening we get caught up on tasia because she's doing the soprano it's lighter it's higher it's all the stuff you know that's more you know what is the word lord it's more pronounced or it's more in your face or it's more detectable and you might not be listening to the soulful lows that danielle is giving us in the rich lows it's just like the texture the velvety texture that she's giving us it's just quit it's good it's so good. Like, my gosh. Like, I love it. I love it. This is where you gotta let go and let God, y'all. Y'all, you just gotta let go and let God. Because when you let go and let God, that's when things start happening. Like, that's when things start happening. When you let go and you let go and you surrender. Huh? When you surrender and give that thing over to God, guess what God will do? Blow your mind every single time. And Tasia and Danielle had to remind us of that this season. No matter what you're worried about, like, give that thing over to the Lord. Come on. Come on. My God. Y'all. Woo. Jesus. I gotta hear it again. And as I start worrying, worrying how the story is, I let go and I let God, let God have his way. That's when things start happening. Well, y'all, start happening. Yes! Things start happening. Come on. Come on, don't you do it. Don't you do it. When I surrendered to God, that's when things started happening. When I let go, that's when things started happening. When I began to surrender my situation unto the Lord, I saw things start to shift. Because God can do more with my situation sometimes than I ever could. When I gave it over to God, that's when transformation started happening. That's when breakthroughs started manifesting. That's when the level of difficulty became reduced because it was a light thing in the sight of the Lord. That's all that you need to do sometimes, just surrender it unto God. Whatever you're worried about, whatever is troubling you, whatever is plaguing your mind, whatever is bothering you, sometimes you just need to surrender it over to the Lord and let go. You can't do nothing more with it. Let 
Go and give it to God. Let God direct your path. Let God order your footsteps. Let God lead you through the situation. Let God help you to navigate. Let God lead you to a place of breakthrough and lead you through whatever valley you may be in. This is not the stopping point for you. Like let God have his way. Some of us are just so resistant unto the Lord. Maybe from past experiences. Maybe we have trauma. Maybe we are plagued or were bothered by how people treated us when we did go to church for the short stint of time that some of us went to church. But don't let that be a reflection of the Lord. Know his nature. Read the Bible. Come to understand that he is his own person and his nature is good. Like if you let go and let God, God will blow your mind every single time. No answer. It's about it. Like that is just what he does. That's who he is. He is a good, good father and what father when their child is suffering or children for that matter is suffering won't rescue them this is why you got to get connected to the lord this is why you need to know god for yourself not because of anybody else not because of what you read not because of what you're this is why you need to experience god for yourself because you would come to find out that he will be everything that you need him to be and so much 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 so much more and that will continue to encourage you to let go and to let god let him have his way my goodness, like, let go and let God, because you can't do it on your own. You've tried. You try time and time and time and time again to do it on your own, and you haven't gotten very far. It's because you're wrestling with that thing. You're trying to carry it on, and you don't have the strength anymore to carry it. Like, there's no more grace for it. Give it to the Lord. Give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus and let him take care of you and it. He got you. I promise you. I promise you. He got you. Give him a chance. Give him a chance and an opportunity to show you that he has you in the palm of his hand and he knows how to take good care of you as a good father would. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Lord, I just pray that you would encounter somebody right now watching this video. I pray that you would arrest them, whatever things been bothering them or troubling them. I pray that you give them peace. I pray that you would comfort them. I pray that you would break all chains, break all shackles to pieces, vanquish any demonic agendas by fire, dismantle any um, agendas of witchcraft or agencies of witchcraft or any demonic devices. I pray that you just encounter people in this moment, Lord, and that you would just just show up in their situation. Show up, oh God. I just invoke your presence, Holy Spirit, that you would show up and let there be light in their understanding. Let there be light. Oh God, I pray that revelation would break out in the name of Jesus, that they would see you anew, that they would experience you anew, that all trauma be broken off, oh God, that anything that's trying to close off their ears or their eyes from seeing you and from hearing you, I pray that if a man has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord says. I pray that if a man has eyes to see, let him see what the Lord is showing in the name of Jesus, Father God, for all all, all people, all races, all things, oh God, I pray that you would do it now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Whew. Let God have his way. Oh, wait, y'all can't. That's all I need to do. Let God have his way. Every single time. Every single time. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it right here. There's nothing more to be said. Let God have his way. Let God have his way and be surprised and amazed by the results. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Don't get bit because life does get better.